you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jay. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee ready to engage in another high profile matchup here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> For this one. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. So nice deception there as he lands the hook. There's another one. Nicely done to the body. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Whiffs on that offering. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. And that spinning kick found its home up top. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. So the title fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Oh! Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big shot to the head. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice, nice hook. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Oh, nice kick. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Oh, well placed with the uppercut there. Inside leg kick. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. More strikes to the head. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. He's looking for that 
left hand. Not there. Picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. That was a solid punch. Under a minute now to go in this one. Heavy leather landed on both sides. Oh, oh he's stunned bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Big knee. Hook to the head there by Lee. Hands up, hands up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! Oh, that's big. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Ten seconds now in round one. Trying to kick the leg out. Uh, round two is uh, next. Uh, uh, uh. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. We'll see if he can clean up the striking on the feet. No denying the aggression and the pursuit of punishment, but more often than not, it was a swing and a miss. A swing and a miss. He needs to slow it down, really try to trap his opponent if he's going to make these punches that he missed so often start to land. Oh, roundhouse kick. and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. His misses are entertaining. Well, as my favorite... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just misses with the straight right. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand. There's a kick. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, 
out. He's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Well, he's... Certainly found the target. Oh, nice jab. Finish, finish. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. here as the hook to the head is blocked. Under a minute, and now the head kick to boot. Oh! Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Whips on the straight right hand. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's fight hard. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Get him first. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Outstanding oh, round fuck, and fuck, another five fuck. minutes coming up. All right, man. You're doing great, okay? We've got this fight in back, but I do not want you to pull off at all. I want you to keep the pressure on. Fight smart. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Go. Third round underway. My right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Straight right, he misses. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Just misses with that one. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Connects with a beautiful jab. Great block there. Touched him with the strike there. Pretty good head kick there. Nice leg kick. Yeah, he's got two. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Under three minutes now to go in the round. 
Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. What a nasty kick. That was more with ill intent. Lee going with the kick to the body. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. All right, so as a result of one of those leg kicks, he is now limping. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility has absolutely been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, very... Oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh. Under two minutes to go in round three. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Man, this is should have been tested early. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Establishing the jab here. Let's go. We got a minute left. Under a minute to go. Leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Looks like someone took a red Sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Final seconds here. Ten seconds. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. A high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Oh, he's hurt. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the tap. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Somehow, 
His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Work, guys. And a knee. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Under three minutes to go in round four. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Oh, rips the body shot there. Beautiful block. Two minutes now to go. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Back kick there. Nice straight right hand. Went for the inside leg kick. That was a big check. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. There it is, right back on his legs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Please kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Slam with the inside leg kick. Now some separation. Ten seconds to go in the round. his opponent can take. Massive oh, shot God. that he landed. Great job. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. He beat you that last round. He's winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And let him think this last round is how it's going to go. Lure him into a slugfest. All right, let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open and he took full advantage of it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that pitch. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. He fought with so much intensity early that he looks like he's starting to get a little tired. 
went for the inside leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Right on the button. Hands high, hands high. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Oh, the head kick lands. I can't believe he's still standing after taking another massive head kick. Push kick there to the body. Oh, switch kick. Nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And this guy has done this technique thousands of times. Two minutes now, oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Oh, look like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Nice leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice crack there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Straight punches there again. Oh! Ooh. oh, that's a nice strike. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45.
for the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the 